Hello friends, this video Real Numbers Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Real Number Part 1 to Part 6. Now I'll take one more example. Here we have given that HCF of 306 and 657 is 9. We have to find the LC. It is a pretty straightforward question. We know that if we have this, we want to you know the LCM is nothing but product of number that is number 1 into number 2 by HCF of number 1 number 2. Correct? This formula we know for two values. So we have to find LCM. So LCM is nothing but product of two number that is 306 into 657 by HCF. HCF already given, we will not find that is 9. And if we solve this, this comes out to be 2, 2. 3, 3, 8. and that is the answer. Very simple, just apply the formula to get the answer. We will take one more example. Here we have to explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite. Composite number are nothing, numbers that can be written as product of two prime numbers. So if we can prove that these numbers can be written as product of two prime numbers, we can prove it. So let's assume this is case 1. So case 1 number is equal to 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. We'll take 13 common that is 13 into 7 into 11 into 1 plus 1. Correct. This comes out to be 13 into 77 plus 1 that is 78. Correct. 78 will further factorize this becomes 13 into 13 into 6 because 78 if you see if you divide if you want to find the factor of 78 divided by 2 years so this becomes 37 no 39 39 yes now for 39 divided by 2 no divide by 3 years so divide by 39 this becomes 13 and 13 is the prime number so we can say this is nothing but 13 into 13 into 2 into 3 so if you see all these are prime numbers and we have proved that this n1 this is n1 actually is nothing but product of prime numbers. Since we have proved that n1 is product of prime numbers, we can prove that n1 is composite. Correct? n1. Now let's assume this is n2. n2 is equal to 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5. Let's take 5 common. This comes out to be 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 plus 1. Correct? So if you find this value, 7 into 6 is 7, 6, 42 into 4 is uh, 168 into 6. That comes, comes out to be 101008 plus 1 into 5. That is nothing but 5 into 1009. Now 1009 is itself a prime number. So we can say that this is product of two prime numbers. So n2 is also composite. Thus we have proved that both n1 and n2 are composite numbers. In this example, we have to show or we have to find whether 6 to the power n ends with 0 or not. Similar example we have taken where 4 to the power n ends with 0 or not we found. So here also if 6 to the power n ends with 0, that means this is divisible of 10 right because 10 is a factor of this number right or I'll write if if 6 to the power n ends with 0 right let's assume it ends with 0 or I mean if this if 6 ends with 0 6 to the power n ends with 0 then 6 to the power n has 10 as a factor if 10 is one of the factor of 6 to the power n that means 5 is also factor of 5 should be should be factor of 6 to the power n right thus now we have seen that if we have to prove that 6 to the power n ends with 0 we have to prove that 5 is a factor of 6 to the power n so if 5 is a factor of 6 to the power n then because 2 is already the factor of 6 to the power n because we know 6 is nothing but 2 into 3 so 2 we can ignore now if we can prove that 5 is a factor of 6 to the power n and 2 is a factor of 6 to the power n, then we can prove that this number ends with 0. So now let's try to expand this. Power n is nothing but 3 into 2 to the power n. 
that is nothing but 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 n times correct 3 into 2 is one one block i'm saying that means we have seen that the only factor for 60 to the power n is 3 and 2 that is 5 is not factor of 5 is not factor of 60 to the power n since 5 is not factor of 60 to the power n i can very much say that 6 to the power n doesn't end with 0 that i can say for sure why because for 6 to the power n to end with 0 10 should be the factor of 6 to the power n that means 5 should also be the factor of 6 to the power n but we have seen that 3 and 2 are the only prime factors of 6 to the power n thus we can prove that 6 to the power n doesn't end with 0 let's take one more example this is a circular path around a sport field sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field while ravi takes 12 minutes suppose that both they both start at the same point at the same time and go in the same direction how many minutes they'll meet again let me draw this. Let's suppose there's a circular field, right? And there is a person called Sonia. And there's one more person called Ravi. And both are at the same point. Let's suppose there's a starting point. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round, 18 minutes per round. And this person takes, Ravi takes 12 minutes per round. Now the question is, at what time they'll meet again? Let's suppose they meet after some time. Let's suppose they meet after some time. By that time, since Sonia is running faster, or so, no, Sonia is running slower actually, because the Sonia is taking 18 minutes for one round. So let's suppose Sonia has uh, done n one rounds. Sonia has done n one round. So the time taken by Sonia will be, let's suppose, Sonia is equal to n1 rounds and Ravi is equal to n2 rounds, right? A light here, this is n1 and this is n2. So time for Sonia, a light time for Sonia is nothing but n1 into 18 because 18 minutes per round. And let's suppose Ravi took n2 rounds, so time for Ravi will be n2 into 12 correct and now since we are saying that they are meeting at the same point same point that means if they are meeting at the same point that means they are meeting at the same time i am saying when two persons are meeting that means both are meeting at the same time so we can say that t sonia is equal to t ravi or we can say that n1 into 18 n1 into 18 is equal to n2 into 12. I can say this. Now, n1 into 18 is equal to n2 into 12. Now, we have to find what? We have to find how many minutes they will meet again together. And that is nothing but t sonia or t ravi. Both are equal to t sonia. We have to find this t. I will assume this is t only because both are equal to 2. t. This is t. We have to find t. Correct? Where n1 into 8 is equal to n2 into 12, we have to find t. And also not t. We are saying the first time they meet because that is the minimum value of t. See, let's suppose if they meet at 30 seconds or 30 minutes. After 60 minutes, how they will meet? After one after 60, 180, 240 minutes, how they will meet? Because at one complete cycle, they are able to meet. In the next cycle, also they will be able to meet. The question is how many after how many times they will meet for the first time? So here we have to find t minimum actually because they can be multiple values of n1 and n2 which will satisfy this condition but we have to find the minimum value because we want to find the first time they will meet correct so to get this what we have to do we will have to find the value in such a way that the number t minimum should has 18 as a factor and 12 also as a factor right because see this t is equal to n into 18 so we can say that 18 is factor of t m t minimum and since n2 into 12 is equal to tm we can say that 12 is a factor of tm now we know that since 18 and 12 both are factor of tm and to find the minimum value of tm what we can do we can just find the lcm of 12 and 18 
if you find the lcm of 1218 what will get will get a number which will have both 18 and 12 as a factor you got this just first try to understand why we are finding the lcm in this case we are finding the lcm of 12 and 18 if you get understand why we are finding the lcm finding lcm is easy easy the difficult part is trying to understand why we are trying to find the lcm why not actually here sonia takes 18 minutes to cover one round ravi takes 12 minutes to cover one round so let's suppose after n n rounds sonia meets and after n two rounds ravi meets because sonia is slower so she has an n one round and ravi has done n two round but since both are meeting that means both both are meeting at the same time that means t sonia is equal to t ravi is equal to t and that is the time we have to find so we have derived that n one into eighteen is equal to n two into twelve is equal to t now we have to find the minimum value of t because they are asking first time they meet since they are asking for the first time they meet we have to find the minimum value of t so from this equation what we have seen that 18 is the factor of t m t minimum and 12 is also factor of t minimum and we have to find the minimum value of t correct so since 18 is the factor of t m 12 is the factor of t m we can find the lcm of 18 and 12 and that will be the value of t m correct so we'll find the lcm of 18 and 12 so what we'll do we'll factorize this 18 18 is nothing but 2 into 3 into 3 2 into 3 9 9 3 2 into 3 is 6 into 3 18 similarly 12 is nothing but 12 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 3 and this is nothing but 2 into 3 square and this is nothing but 2 square into 2 to find the lcm lcm will be the highest common factor highest uh, least common multiple so for 2 it is to the power 2 and for 3 it is 3 to the power 2 that is nothing but 36 So after thirty six minutes, both of these persons, Sonia and Ravi, will meet for the first time. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.